The jumping spiders are the most intelligent and arguably the cutest spiders in the world. I'm Spencer Hoffman, and while exploring Central Florida for Red Widows with my good friend and fellow wildlife educator Zachary Gray, we stumbled upon a giant among these amazing little invertebrates. Whoa. Hey, Spencer, you're gonna like this jumper. He's huge. Whoa, what the heck? That's also a regal. That's massive. Come here, baby. Like big, big. I just got an egg sack. I'll try not to bug that. That gotta be the biggest oh, salt I've ever seen. Come here, baby. Huh. We were gonna film her right there, but then the sky decided to open up on us. I held on to her for a little bit so that I could film her when the weather cleared up. Oh, an excellent spot by Zach there. This is not just one of my favorite spiders, the jumping spiders. This is a very special jumping spider. This is the regal jumping spider, which happens to be the largest jumping spider in North America. And this is a very large regal jumping spider. Like you can see, she is almost wolf spider sized. She is very, yes, you're very big and you're very interactive. Oh my gosh, I love these spiders. They are probably the biggest spider that I will use if I'm introducing someone who is less comfortable with these eight-legged arachnids to them for the first time. And that's because if you look at them, they're actually kind of silly looking. They have those chunky, hairy legs, that blocky appearance. Yes, you're all right. Look at her looking at me. It's those huge, huge eyes in the front of their head, which make them look a little bit silly looking, but in my opinion, absolutely adorable, beautiful little animals. And the thing is, they're actually extremely intelligent. You'll notice you know, I've handled tons and tons of spiders, hundreds of individuals of dozens of different species since starting this channel. And the group that always fascinates me the most and is the most fun to work with are these jumpers. They're so methodical and intentional in their movements. You know, widows, recluses, spitting spiders, wolf spiders, all those things, they'll either sit still or they'll kind of just, you know, run around frantically until they calm down again. Jumping spiders, once you once you show them that you're not a threat, they kind of just kind of meander over your skin, sort of interact with you, and they'll actually kind of just piece things together. You can see them, they're actually investigating. And we actually know they're extremely intelligent due to a lot of different studies we've done. Different species have been known to coordinate attacks, to plan complex hunting strategies over difficult terrain. And for a jumping spider like this, this is a more arboreal species. We're not big tree climbers ourselves as humans. You know, a, a pine tree is very simple. Like we can, we can, we can walk a circle around it and see the whole thing relatively quickly, but that bark, all that texture is actually a really harsh environment for a spider as small as this. And they can actually plan complex strategies to hunt down their prey over this rough terrain on the tree. They can make calculated decisions on where the prey is gonna be next and even intercept with their jump. The reason they get their name is that incredible jumping ability and they will, uh, they'll actually tackle and pounce on their prey to subdue it. Like most spiders, jumping spiders are in fact venomous, but they're mildly venomous. You know, we don't usually think about them being venomous because they're not harmful to humans. Though, uh, given that this is the biggest jumping spider in the country and the largest individual I've ever seen. If you want to see me bitten by this spider, let me know in the comments below. I, I would be curious to test it. They're fascinating little creatures. And one, one of my favorite things about them is their eyes. They have these adorable little eyes. And you know, one of the things I tell people is you can learn a lot about an animal by its appearance. The most prominent features that you see can give you a hint at its biology. And with jumping spiders, one of their most prominent features are those adorable eyes. And they'll look right at you and even bond with you, which is incredible. When you see an animal with big eyes like that, it tells you it's a visual hunter. And these guys have some of the best vision in the invertebrate world. And their eyes actually work in a kind of an interesting way. So to kind of explain, let's actually look at how our eyes work. So we have, you know, simple eyes. You know, these guys also have simple eyes. They don't have compound eyes like an insect. They have simple eyes, just like us, but the way they work is a little bit different. Our eyes, we have our main focal point in the center of our vision. So if we're looking straight ahead, it's clearest in the center. You can kind of almost make a little circle of where it's super clear. But as you get further and further out, it's more and more blurry. And in fact, we're like, well, why do we, why do we need that vision there? Well, if you move something, if you move something in the direction over here in your peripheral vision, you can detect that movement really, really well and then you'll look right at it because you're detecting that motion which draws your eyes to it. For the jumping spider, that works a little bit different. 
So you'll notice they have eyes all around their head. Those big eyes in the front, they have little tiny eyes all around their heads. If you move something in her peripheral vision, it's detected by those side eyes and she'll actually kind of rotate her body to have those big main eyes look at it. They, they can't move their eyes like we can. They have to move their body to change the angle of their vision. They have to be able to process a pretty solid image. And for a tiny little spider like this, that takes a lot of processing power. And we actually learned is they can actually use the same brain cells for multiple different tasks at once. They have like a multi-purpose brain, which is very different from a lot of brains we see in the animal kingdom, which means these crazy little spiders are actually teaching us about how intelligence can evolve in different other animals than humans, as well as how cognition actually functions, which is one of the biggest mysteries of modern biology. And all those secrets are hidden right in this little spider, which is why I absolutely adore them and absolutely love them. How about that? A little regal jumping spider, one of my favorites, and an absolute treat to see in the wild. These jumping spiders are some of my favorite animals in the world. But even though they might be the cutest spiders, in my opinion, they are far from the most fascinating species that we have here on this planet. One incredible type of spider is the spitting spider. These guys are real life web slingers. And in this video right here, I actually tracked them down to try and show that web shooting ability on camera. Hope to see you there, but until next time, don't forget to get outside and find your own adventure.